Hello everybody and welcome to Innocentious Place uh, Europe Universalist 4 Common Sense We are in a coalition war against a lot of guys And we only have some allies But in total I think the strength of our alliance is a bit stronger Let's look at how the war looks like It's a this against a this This is a big European war A really big Good old European war. Uh, well, I'm not sure how how we'll actually do in the end, but I see some big armies over here. That's a good sign. And some big army over here. And Austria's coming for us in Holland. Damn it! I just remembered that I could have moved, blocked their movement, maybe, but. Even though he takes a minus three, I don't think we can actually win this fight. Elections. Yeah, keep it one more round. Let's uh, let's run away to there. So we can start sieging that. Antwerp is now our core. Yay! Let's de-siege this. Come on, you should be winning this. Come on, Poland. You're better than that. Maybe if I join in? No, Denmark is already joining in. Let's make this one. And we reset it up for now. But he's winning anyway. Good. Uh, yeah, this is a really difficult war. Come on, I need some help. I know you're low, but you should be strong enough to help. Hello? Please? No? Let's flee to there. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough, France. are doing some sieging everywhere yeah France did lose that fight sieges are going on everywhere and fights are being fought yay Bremen where is it? Uh, is this Bremen? what? oh Bremen caught Breda, but he moves out, so it's fine. Why are you in this war? Because you're a French vassal, that's why. Huh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you're not gonna win that war. That battle either. French got a strong army over there. All in all, we are still going for a wrecking 22 war score. Peace is coming a little bit closer every now and then. But we will lose this fight unfortunately, so that's too bad. But slowly but certainly, I think we're doing a good job. Racking down some guys. Uh, yeah, that's what's actually one we did employ. Let's go for the morale. While we are slowly regaining manpower here. At 11 per, uh, 1100 a month. 111, not 1100. Come on, finish the siege so you can jump in over there and actually make this battle a win. Right, you can win this. Yeah, you should be able to. Thing is, this low military tactics of Poland is really, really hurting us. Attack 5, attack 6. We're at 7, almost at 8. And Austria's joining in there again. Yeah, that 
they're gonna lose that now. But France is able to do able to do some damage over here. It's lovely that we make all our allies fight for us. I mean, we don't do shit. And they win a fight here. Yes. Twenty four against eighty one. Yeah, it's not happening yet. That's Brocade over here. Just to help France with this siege. In the meantime, I could do some quarrying actually. I think Zealand is pretty safe at the moment. Just try to make a core. Yeah, we still have more guys. And I see lots of red numbers over here and only a couple of yellow over here, so that's not that bad. So he's going a lot better than I anticipated. I really thought it would be really difficult for us, but uh, it's just moderately difficult. Yeah, he's gonna lose this fight. But he's gonna win this fight. England's being blockaded a bit. I really hate the fact that he just pours and pours all those guys in there. Maybe this time it was actually a good thing because he was assaulting it, but... Are you really jumping in here? The minus two. Really? Uh, uh, sure, I mean, uh, don't mind if you do. So these guys should probably go and blockade a bit of England. Because, yeah, it gives, should give us a little bit more war score. Oh. Until we, of course, get caught by the heavies. We have 11 days to not die. We are dying. And we lost 9 of our ships. So that was not a good idea. Uh, I'm really happy Sweden didn't leave the Union with Denmark. We're really, we really u using their forces this in this war. Oh crap, we have full military power. I should have done something with it. Uh, the cheapest place to improve is this one. And it gives us more manpower, so more manpower recovery. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, I'm the only one who's at medium or enthusiasm, but Austria here is at medium. All in all, this is going well. I hope. France is just super strong. Strong France. And that's what we need. And it helps that England has like 50,000 troops over here. 80. We are blockaded, but of course. And our army is still growing. We are at 5,000 men at the moment. Woo.
Hey, their military tactics went up. Do we want prestige? Yes, we do. So, oh, their tech sex, uh, Poland was at 5. So, yeah, they will win this fight as well. Screw you, England. Some sieges are being done here, but I'm also being sieged, and nobody's really helping me in that. Well, I couldn't ask for that uh, much anyway. They're busy. And I don't have the army to do it. It should be an easy fight. Why was your military tactics so low? Oh right, the siege of Friesland was left. There's coming guys up here to help here, I assume. Yes. So these guys were sieging me and now they're being punished for it. <sighs> I love letting the AI do my work. Uh, invest in the province because we're at 999 again. 63, 64. 59 but we can't do it so let's go for here. And uh, which one was the 63 one? Yeah, let's group it over here. And we can't. Zealand is not one of our courses, so it's impossible to improve it. But soon it will be one of our courses. And we want Republican power. So yeah, we want that fight as well. Fights are being lost over here. But that's fine. So we have one more place we have to core. Breda. So let's do that. Mappen is now mine. I don't think we have a claim on it. No, we don't. We do have one on Osnabrück. <laughs> and our war, exhaust, uh, war aggressive expansion is slowly dropping. War exhaustion is probably rising because we have one occupied province. It is rising by a, pl a plus zero point zero two because blockaded home ports and occupied provinces. Yeah, that's fine. And we're almost at 6,000 men again. Woo! Yay, 6,000 men. 6,000 men who do nothing at all. We got a core on Zealand. That was being fought over here. I don't think we had a diplomat. 40 guys killing these 5,000. Oh, he's getting reinforced. Got just a 3 stack. Yeah, that's the problem. Poland is not so strong because of the military tactics problem he has. Why do we get stack wipe on that? You are willing to peace out! You're not willing to give me that? How about the token money? Do we want to get out? Yeah, we do. We really do. Peace in our time. Go back to where the unrest is in Zealand. Ooh. 
We did it, you guys. We survived. We survived the coalition of doom and dead and everything. Thank you, France. Thank you, Denmark. Thank you, Poland. Thank you, Lithuania. I really didn't think we would be able to get it in the beginning. Well, I mean, it, it could go either way. It was really a difficult thing. We're now competing great power. <laughs> Thank you for the recognition, but I don't believe we're a great power yet. So the moment we get a tr uh, administrative attack 10, we can form the Dutch Republic, because we pretty much have finished the core on radar. It doesn't take that much longer. The Dutch Republic. Wow. That's cool. So what does the decision actually do? From the Dutch nation. Utrecht will no longer be part, no longer be part, no longer... We lose our provinces of the Holy Roman Empire. Ch country changes to the Netherlands. We can claim on the low countries. Our government ranks change to kingdom. We gain prestige. And we get new ambitions and traditions. Oh, that's fine. How much unrest is there still in Zealand? Quite some, because the Dutch separatists are going strong. And I'm not going so strong. So can I bu build a building yet? Yes, I can. I can build a barracks. If I build it here, it gives me another 875 manpower. Let's build it. And over here, 625. Over here as well. I'm going to do it. Oh, I don't have the money for it. So, we're a lot of military thing. Uh, military monarch points again. 59. Yeah, that should be the lowest. Sixty-four. Maybe I should do it in Holland actually as well, because this is where I'm building the barracks for extra uh, bonuses. I think the barracks goes, gives a fifty percent. Uh, wait, I can still see it. Yeah, local modifier plus 50%. And by increasing this, maximum empire increases by 102. Yeah, also because of the autonomy, of course. So increasing it in a province with low autonomy actually gives us more... What? Gives us more... Uh, Improve relations with you as well then. Oh, I really didn't know that. With less autonomy we get more manpower and more money. Come on Poland, I need you. You know that. You did a really good job in fighting. Gonna improve relations with you. Even though you also see me as a great power, which is a compliment. I really do like that you see me as a great power. Not as a competing one, but uh, being a great power is a good thing, right? So we are without overextension now. Should drop this a little bit more as well. So how long will this unlawful territory stay? Till 88. So for only four years. That's that's really good. Autonomy increased, and it was the only province where it actually happened, I believe so. We are golden. We can build a barracks. Yeah, I think I'm fine for now. So, if we... F we a eventually get to our new idea slot, I think I'm going to go for a military idea. 
we are so far ahead that we cannot spend our military power points. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, we can upgrade our manpower in our provinces. We can uh, stay ahead in military power, which is really, really useful. The barracks is almost done. So we go from 958 to 2090. Wow, that's, that's a big jump. That's d more than doubling it. Okay, yeah, you don't hear me complaining about that. That's a really nice thing. So, we finally survived the coalition war, and we still have all our provinces here. The small Dutch nation, even Antwerp. I think we're going the right direction, guys. I think it's going pretty well. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.